I would advise all truckers to stay away from, you know, from the marijuana. Every story is not like mine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm probably one of the lucky ones. And, uh, you know, like I said, it ain't it ain't all good being, being a sap driver, but it ain't all bad neither, man, especially if you don't smoke. I've never just really been a smoker. All right, Marquise in the building. All right, man. So interesting story that, that you presented to me in the, in the green room. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. All right. So uh, this was uh, this was October the 6th, October 6th, October 8th, beginning of October, man. First week of October, uh, I was with a company, man, based out of uh, – Westchester, Ohio. And uh man, I think they're like Ukrainian people, man. Uh something like that. Um man, they uh they pretty much they put this okay, so I worked for them twice. I worked for them when I got like I'm talking about I was a newbie, uh just getting over the road. They allowed my brother to train me. And uh we 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 wanted to go to Covenant. Covenant wasn't with it. Uh, because my brother got a background, you know, so uh, they told him no. We tried, uh, we tried another company. They told him no. So, but he has five years. Well, at that time, he, he's like seven, eight year, you know, trucking now. So, um, so we were pretty much just looking for a company to, uh, to you know, that was going to allow me to come on for him to train me. So we end up finding them. He found them. And he just uh, was like, hey, look, when you get out of trucking school, man, let's go to this here company here. And uh, it's 90 cent a mile. And they just waiting on you to graduate. And we're going to catch a flight. And boom, you know, we, we you know, we're, we're there. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool. That's the move. That's what we're going to do. And um, that was uh, January 2022. So that was a little over two years ago, about two years and three months ago. So, um I say around that time, man, we we was there from January to October. It wasn't a good 10 months with them. It was about eight and a half, nine months maybe, you know. Uh, everything was good, you know, that first go round, man. Everything was pretty good. Uh, me and my brother, we split. He ended up doing his local thing. I ended up going to Mississippi Transport, and uh, I love Mississippi Transport. Went to ES Anderson Trucking Service, and uh, worked for them for about six months. My brother was like, "Hey, man, let's get back on the road, man. I'm, you know, I guess it wasn't working out, you know, locally for him. So, um, you know, uh, I'm like, "Hey, man, me being a money man, everything was good, everything was cool, you know, the first go round." So I'm like, hey man, this shit, we can do it. Let's do it. All right, so, so let me man, let me uh, let me pause you right quick for a couple of questions. All uh, right, all right, so ahead. all right, so in the midst of uh, the first time, you, the the first go around with the company before you left, you mentioned the fact that the company was giving you guys ninety cent. Was that ninety between the both of y'all, or ninety cent split between uh, between the truck? Yeah, so pretty much it was just it was a ninety cent. It was uh ninety cent. He was getting ninety cent a mile. I was getting ninety cent a mile. Oh, and we had yeah, team we, driving. We average team, yeah, team driving, man. So, man, I was I was seeing twenty five hundred on a on a low end, man, easily, easily, man. So we was averaging about thirty two hundred. And I'm a new driver, man. I'm 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 like, damn. So this is the CDL game about like cool. You know, we averaging about five six. Maybe sometimes seven thousand miles a week. Okay. You know? Okay. But this, but this is clearly a ten ninety nine company, though, right? For sure. Oh yeah. For sure. Oh okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah, and yeah. again, they're they're located out of Ohio. Yeah. Well, uh, man, to be honest with you, bro, I have no idea where they're located exactly, man. It's Medina, Medina, Ohio. Medina. Westchester. Westchester. Medina. Medina. Medina, there yeah. we go, Medina. Man, you know, I never knew that, man. I always yeah. seen it on their paperwork, but never, you know, never knew the name of it. Uh, So you had Medina, you had them, and, uh, man, they had a they had a spot in, in this, what is that, Ben Salem, Ben Salem, PA. Okay. That's where the shop is, I guess, the operation and all that is. You know, that's where pretty much they had us drop the truck off at. Okay, okay. So the first time, first go around, everything was great. You was making money. What, you you only left 
because you couldn't drive solo for him? This was like just a strictly team position? Man, the thing is, uh, my bro, my bro wanted to, uh, yeah, it, I, I believe so. They didn't have any, uh, it was strictly team. Strictly team, no solo. Um, and hell, if they did do solo, man, it was just, it would have probably been too overbearing because they worked the shit out you, man. They, they, uh, man, you going to drive. <laughs> you going to drive, man. And they, uh, they they dirty as hell. You were pretty much, man, you, you, you'd you be driving for damn this 15 hours, man, if it was up to them, you know. So uh, they gonna, you know, they're going to they gonna play with them clocks, man. They're going to play with their clocks. So, uh, you know, if you, you know, and you, you, you damn near drive, you got an 800-mile trip, and you're going to drive that whole 800 you know, uh, 900, whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you're going to try that for sure. So after you know, after the first go around, you guys decided to lead the company to try other ventures, but your brother was the one that reached back out to you and was like, yo, let's, let's, let's go back on the road again. The money was good, good at the place. You guys, I guess you guys left on a good term to jump back on with him. What happened yeah. on the second go around? So on the second go around, um, and everything was good. I see, uh, the policy, I guess, changed or whatever. They, they tried to start us off at 80, at 80 cents per mile. I guess, you know, like I said, and all through that time, man, even the first time we ran with them, man, we was covering up the decal, put on a whole nother decal. You know, when we get to a shipper, you know, we, we've been doing that, you know, for them. So we wasn't used to it. I mean, well, we wasn't, yeah, it was something we ain't just, you know, we was, we was already used to it. You know what I'm saying? Just swapping out the decal about a mile away from the shipper, and boom, you know, we're delivering under this name. So uh, we came we came back to them under a new name, and they were like, well, hey, you know, we're starting you off at 80. You know, my brother, he's a good talker, man. He gonna, he, yeah, he'll talk you out or whatever, man. So he ended up uh, getting them to uh, give us 85 cents. All right, so you coming back, 80 cents, but you mentioned that y'all had to swap out names for the receivers so you guys will go yeah. to the shipper up under one name and then it's like well, what a, yeah a dark drop up under a different name what, what are we doing here yeah 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 that's, that's exactly what it is bro yeah man we uh man we'll we'll deliver under manage with us we work smart yellow trans man uh run transport uh man, this it man, we we ran out of we ran out of a lot, bro. Damn it, uh, man. All right, that, but uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh yeah, we came back, everything was good, man. Uh I, I, I can't lie on that. You know, everything was good. Like I said, the usual we switching out the decal. That's just something we were used to. So uh we knew they were dirty, man, but man, the money was always good and, and we got paid on we got paid every Friday. Now, you know, it was some instances, you know, we probably get paid on a Saturday. Oh, shit. I, I didn't got paid on a Sunday before. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, they always paid. So, we, you know, we never paid it no mind. You know, and sometimes it was late. But one thing, you know, the first the first go round was good. We, we was always paid. Uh, we'd get pulled into way stations. Uh, man, DOT would be like, hey, man, so this what company is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell y'all got going on, man? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, We've been looking for these people, and we can never get in contact with them. Man, every way state, man, Kentucky, Ohio, man, Tennessee, they all tell us the same thing. And our reply is, hey, man, the money good. Money good, man. I mean, we, you know, that's it. That's all, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's take it back, man. You, you, you rocking out with the company, you and your brother. Things seems to go good in the beginning, but now you seeing some cracks in the wall as y'all decided to come back for a second go around. So instead of 90 cent a mile, they, they, they derated you down to like 80 cent a mile. And now you're, now you're running around switching up logos on the truck and, and, and stuff like that, man. So yeah, as you mentioned, you say you running into some issues where the company is being dirty, but what happened with the, with the way station? Like, you know, you said in the, in the green room that you pulled up at the way station and they hemmed you up and try to get a hold of the customer or the, or the company. And for some reason that they, that they owe them some money. What, what, what happened with that? Man, uh, I 
think that was uh man, we was uh what's that? Oh man, it happened so many times, man, in different states, man, and uh so first time we worked for him, man, the first go round, man, we were switching logos from the beginning, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. We been new. They were kinda dirty. Like I said, man, they 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 always paid us. And, you know, as a worker, ten ninety nine and we just we we just about electric check, man. We I ain't gonna lie, man, to be honest. Which it should have been a red flag in the beginning, you know. Uh, just not to deal with a company like that, man. And you know, I'd be lying if I was to say, man, my dad, cause my, man, my dad got like 25 years in in, in trucking, man. And uh, I was telling him what was going on, you know. And he'd be like, man, son, I ain't gonna lie, man. And keep an eye open, man. Hey, you know, I ain't saying, man, get your money, but at the same time, man, hey. Be mindful, man. And these companies out here dirty. I'm like, man, I feel you, Pop, man. But shit, man, this 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 thirty two hundred dollar chick say otherwise, man. So we, man, we just roll with the punches, man. We wasn't tripping, you know. So since the beginning, man, we was changing our decals, man. We that was just something we wasn't, you know, we we wasn't new to it, man. We we been doing it, and uh, we came back to work for them the second time. And I bullshit you not, man. The, we picked the truck up in Memphis, Tennessee, on Lamar. It was at some type of holding lot on Lamar, you know. And uh, and we we get to uh, we get to the little, you know, the Love's uh, uh truck stop right there on Lamar, man. You, you, you know that truck stop right there on Lamar, man, in Memphis, Tennessee, man. You know, yeah, man. You know it's like that, man. It's wild, you know. So uh, first they got us, man. They got us out here in Memphis, some town, and smack dab in the hood, you know. Uh, they told us, yeah, well the truck is there. The truck is there. We get there, the truck ain't there, you know. So boom, uh, the truck about a mile down. So I guess they just had just had us, I guess, get on an Uber and uh get to the truck. So we get to the truck, uh, man, truck, you know, pretty much, man, we recovered it, man. It was, it wasn't in the best condition, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, once we, once we got to the truck, you know, uh, they got it clean. Uh, they did, you know, they did their part as far as cleaning it and it cleaned and like that. Uh, we left, got our first load and, uh, we got our first load, man. We, I believe, man, we got to, I was Kentucky. It's the minute we got to Kentucky, went went through a way station, man. They pulled us in, put us in. We uh we got all our information uh through the man. What app is that? Um, cause we communicate with them through an app for one, and we don't have no number. You know, it's just it's through an app. I had to Google the office number, you know, but they never called from that that number. And um, when they do call us, man, it's from like a New York number, man. So uh. Uh, what man? What app is Telegram? Communicate through Telegram. So, uh, they sent us, you know, pretty much everything that's in like your logbook. We hadn't had a chance to stop go to the truck stop and print all the paperwork out, the insurance, the, you know, policy, the lease agreement, all that. In which we wasn't, we wasn't leasing, but for some reason, man, we had a whole lease agreement, you know, and uh, and we got pulled into a way station. We had to show them, you know, our proof or whatnot because, you know, we didn't have at that time we didn't have decal or whatever, man. So, um, and they the uh, DOT officer, man, he had he had me uh, just come on in the office, and man, they, they weren't gonna let me leave. So I provide all my documents, man. We was there for like two hours. And then on top of that, trying to get in communication with these folk, man, it's, it, it, man, it was, man, we damn near was like, hey, at this point, we'll damn near leave the truck here if y'all don't reply on time. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on, man? We trying to, you know, we trying to get on about our business with this load. And, man, y'all taking y'all precious time with sending information. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so it was like, look, we want to talk to him. We want to speak to him. And uh, from there, you know, DOT was like, hey, man, what's up with this, man? Y'all owe us taxes with this. You, well, you didn't pay your taxes. Uh, we've been trying. We've been sending out uh, uh, papers in the mail. Y'all not getting them. We just want to know where is y'all's address? Like, where are you? Where are you right now? You know what I'm saying? Where are you talking to me from? And they were like, uh... They said what they said it was Westchester, Ohio. It could have been lying. Sound like the lady was home. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what they told them, and it could they they could be anywhere. It sounds as though when you guys got pulled into the uh, way station and the, and the DOT officer is trying to get information out of me. You say you talked. They they was talking to a female. 
Yeah, they probably might be talking out of their house. What I'm saying, they right. they might not even be oh, talking in a, in a in a in a in a formal setting. Oh, they'll be talking out of their house, but the actual information or the actual people, they probably might be across seas. You know what I'm saying? So if you need some information about the com but if you if you, if you need some information about the company, what they'll do is probably send it over to their contact here in the states and then they'll probably read from a pamphlet or or send it over to them hey man i wouldn't put it past them bro i ain't gonna even lie to you man i wouldn't even put it past them man to be real man i i i say nine times out of ten man they probably wouldn't even hear you know uh you know, language barrier, everything, man. You can barely even understand them. You'd rather uh, communicate uh, through text, you know what I'm saying, because the communication was just, you know, it was bad, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, definitely, man, definitely. So, Marquise, man, when when did it start to go bad for you and your family, man? You uh, you said they uh, they started messing with the money hard, and, and by the looks of it, you, you say about yeah. about 8K, man, that's... That's a lot of that. That's a lot of stacks God. right there to be to be messed over, yeah. man. Within yeah. within the amount of time. So was that was that like eight k between you and your brother, or was or or just you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's four four grand for him, four grand for me. Yeah, yeah, man. And uh, actual what they owed us was like three like three grand, but they owed us money from a from another check. You know what I'm saying? That uh, that wasn't on this one. So you know, we I calculated that, and I'm like, hey man, y'all owe us seven eight thousand dollars. Like, you know what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And uh, so what they did was, man, we was, you know, I was on home time. I never forget, man. We uh, we had a low, for, and for one, man, we we're gone for four weeks, you know, and we just, you know, it's typically three weeks. You know what I'm saying? But you know. Me and my bro, man, you know, the way I was trained, man, we we some night haulers, and man, we 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 gonna get it, you know. So, you know, we if we're away from our families, you know, we might as well, you know, make some make some change while we at it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, you know, let's just do four weeks out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. And uh the home time's supposed to be four weeks. If we did four weeks and we got uh five days, five days. So, um, we 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 uh we end up leaving early, man. And uh, dispatch called and was like, dispatch was like, hey man, we got a high low for y'all. Picks up in San Marcos. We from Houston, man. I'm from I'm from Ace Time, man. So uh, you know, I'm out to eat, you know, with my family at the time. And I'm like, look, man, we was gonna come back in two days. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know, you know, let me check with my brother. Let me see what he wanna do. Call my bro. I'm like, say, man, what you wanna do? You know, I get, you know, he's like, hey, man, I ain't, let's do it. Get it. You know, let's just, you know, let's, uh, let's go ahead and go, you know. So, um, I pick him up, you know, well, I finish eating with my family, go and pick him up and, uh, you know, we shoot out. We shoot out to San Marcus, old picks up in San Marcus, Amazon. It was the Amazon. We, we, we did a lot of Amazon running, run. And, uh, this low was in San Marcus, Texas. Is about like two and a half, three hours away from here. So we shoot the San Marcus and they deliver in uh Trenton, New Jersey, and uh and we 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 rocked that out. You know, we we went ahead, got that out the way. You know, we end up uh having there sleeping in uh Amazon's uh parking lot because uh they're waiting for a new load. And you know, and ain't no truck stops out there. So we can't just you know, we can't just pull over and just go to a truck stop. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we end up like shutting down shop like right on the street. So, uh, and it's you know we're near a bunch of warehouses. So, um, we're just sitting there waiting. And uh, the next morning, we 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 was told to uh, dead head to uh, PA. So we we did head to PA and uh, we try to pick up a, a glass load, uh, glass warehouse or whatever, and. Uh, believe we got that load and uh we took it to ohio and from ohio we said again we said for like day mind you mind you we wasn't supposed to come back to like wednesday uh so we ended up to uh 
We ended up getting to Trenton, New Jersey within like a day and a half. And, you know, when you team driving, you moving. So it probably wasn't even a whole day. It was, yeah, it was like a 24-hour trip from San Marcos to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Trenton. So, yeah, man, it was like, yeah, we was, if we left out Monday, we was there like Tuesday afternoon, afternoon. Like I say, yeah, like Tuesday night we were delivering that load, you know, and uh, we, like I said, we ended up crashing Tuesday night out there. Uh, All right, so you guys yeah. are are team driving in York, and you guys are sitting. Okay, so that's yeah, that's yeah, unheard yeah. of. Never, that's kind of unheard right. of, but but right. what, I, what we never said. <laughs> so so to fast forward to the time that you guys got paid or lack thereof you what was going on internally for them to let for them to tell you that the money was messed up uh so say like the week we came home man we was like shorted my bro was shorted like 1200 i was short like 1200 they were like hey don't worry about it we'll just we'll add it to the next statement so you know but you know like i said man we we ain't paid no mind because you know as far as we know the company i won't bash him on that end it was always paid man we always got so we we didn't pay no mind we like hey man forget it and they're gonna just you know they're gonna put it on the next statement man we i mean hell check this week was already two grand so i mean hey, we ain't tripping man we coming home with about you know six grand already you know so man just hey yeah just put it on the next statement you know what i'm saying so uh out and like I said, that was before they called us to get back on the road, you know, early or whatever. So uh, money, the, you know, like that week before, the money was kind of like, looked like it was like they were playing games, you know what I'm saying? Like shorting us on the bread or whatever. And uh, the week that they called us, I, in my opinion, they were just trying to get us back out there to uh, PA and throw us for some loot or whatever, and say, hey, you know, the truck needs some type of uh, mechanic, uh, you know, so we, we, you know, we were thinking, okay, well, y'all just going to put us in a room. You know, the first year, man, when I first got on the road with them, put us in a room, man, in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Truck truck went down. We end up getting a room, and they paid for the room and everything. So, you know, we ain't thinking nothing of it because what we know about them, they, you know, they took care of it or whatever. And, uh, you know, uh, so like I said, man, that week of we, you know, we actually left, left out. We we in uh Trenton and uh and they get us to Deadhead to uh PA and they say, okay, well go to PA, we end up deadheading to uh Ohio, man. We sat in PA for like a day, day and a half, you know. And uh after that day, we sat in Ohio like another day. Then they was like, hey, uh, we need y'all to uh bring the uh the, the truck to uh Ben Salem, which is like their yard. You know, we've been there before our first year, you know, so like, hey, wow, what's up? Like, you know, they were like, Look, uh bring the truck to Ben Salem. We're gonna do some maintenance on the truck. I'm gonna fly you I'm gonna fly mm -hmm. and I'm like, All right, cool, you know, this before Friday. This is all within that week, you know what I'm saying? That they, you know, do call my phone and was like, Hey, and please, we need you guys to, you know, high load, man. We we don't want to miss out on it, you know. So, let, like I said, let, Monday, Tuesday, we end up getting there. Wednesday, we set. Uh, and Thursday, we set. Uh, we ended up taking it to the shop or whatever. Uh, to their to their shop, Ben Salem, PA. Up in Salem, and I'm going back to I'm I'm going back to uh, what we're what you was talking about in the green room. So, is this like? The scheme area between you and your you and your co-driver, you and your brother, that you guys was deciding on breaking out because of the fact that y'all wasn't getting paid all the money that y'all was supposed to be getting paid. Because somewhere along the line, Man, not, not, somewhere, not at all. Okay, so somewhere along hey, the line, huh? along the line, you said that the company was was kind of like effing y'all, and you guys decided to break camp. So when did when was all that? started to come into play uh like i said man that before that home time that, that's when they shorted it and i mean to be to be real you know it was we was and we was willing to you know work for them because at the same time man like we didn't have any like i said man they always hate us man they, they always hate us i never say they didn't you know uh up until that time rather if it was short we got some type of check you know what i'm saying and uh that was uh but you know 
that whole throwing us, it was, and it was it kind of like threw us for a loophole, you know what I'm saying? Because of the sitting. We don't sit, I'm short on the check. He's talking to them like, hey, man, you know, is this going to be on the next check? They like, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Accountant, accountant, uh, not, not in, but, you know, we're going to make sure you get paid. And uh, they, uh, they. so I say week of our home time was kind of like in he kind of like started noticing like some fishy shit was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, they did pay us. We went on the home time, but you know, it was short. It was short. And you know, usually, man, they pay it out. They pay it out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and this this will go round. All right. So so Marquise, man, I I I guess this black ops company out of Ohio, if they are out of Ohio. It doesn't sound as 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 bad. Like I guess it's not a, it's not as a bad company. Is it just sounds like that the the sitting could be a little bit of mundane and being told about the money that's going to be passed on from week to week to week to week. So so bottom line, right. it, bro. What, what was the main reason why you and your brother left? So uh, man, so that man, they they ended up man. Like I said, man, all that was leading to to this here, man. He told us, "Hey, uh, bring bring the truck to our shop." They flew us, they flew us back home. They flew us back home, man. They ghosted us, ghost. So, me and my bro, we're not tripping. We like, hey, man, they gonna, you know, and we we'll be at, we'll be back when the uh when the truck gets out the shop, man. You know, ain't tripping, man. We ain't missing out on no money. We ain't hurting, you know. And let's just, you know, let's enjoy this. And this is right before Friday. Uh, we got home Thursday. Pull us out. We got to the shop. Like I said, we went from New Jersey to PA to Ohio back to PA. And from there, man, we went to Philly, uh, Delphi Airport and flew back home to Houston. They told us, hey, it'll take a week, you know. So we like, all right, cool. You know, I guess we, you know, we out for a week. Get it. We've done that before previously, man. The truck was out. We were home for about a week and a half, you know. So we're not thinking nothing of it, bro. We wasn't thinking that they were going to not pay us. You know what I'm saying? So Friday get here, seems like they just told us whatever, get get the truck to the shop. Not, you get what I'm saying? Therefore, they, they recovered their truck and they got out of paying us. You know what I'm saying? So they did it all before Friday. So they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't have to hear our mouth or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So Friday come, Friday morning comes, I wake up, no pay, paycheck. We like, hey, what's going on? Hey, accountant to take care of you. Woo woo. Nothing. Uh Monday come. Accountant's still gone. Wednesday come. We getting a run around. Uh we talked to him the following week. What's going on with the truck? What's going on with the truck? When are we supposed to be coming back? Two weeks go by to give us a run around again. Well, we, we'll pay you. Uh, we'll pay you out Thursday. All right, cool. It's a Thursday. Nothing. I'm like, okay, hey, this is what my old man was telling me about. It. You know what I'm saying? I think they got us. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we just had to come to come into terms with what was going on. We couldn't believe what was going on, but uh, and they and they they had this scheme, man, to get us out there to PA to get the truck, recover the truck, and not pay us out. Mm. And I believe that was their whole purpose. Man, that's that's crazy. So yeah, you yeah. so what so so what? No 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 confirmation or anything like that. Was you able to try to get in try to get in contact with other drivers or man to find out to see if the company no, is no. went under or filed bankruptcy or they just shut the doors? Man. What's going on? Well, uh I never even really just seen other company drivers from that same company. No and I, I Honestly, never, never seen any really other drivers. I mean, I know they had more drivers, but we barely seen them. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, two, you know, we we communicate through Telegram. So it's, you know, I end up doing some research and got their uh number in uh Westchester, Ohio, and uh, you know, from there they just they'll still give me the runaround. Oh, this is such and such. Uh, we we're, we're gonna pay every dime, man. We're we're gonna pay it, and another week go by, and still no pay, still no pay. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, outside of outside of not paying us and trying to be blowing them down, man, on Telegram, and it got to the point where I started sending threats, man. Like, and next time I'm in PA, and I'm going to Ben Salem, I'm I'm fucking up trailers, I'm messing up the tractors, like, man, somebody got to see me. You know what I'm saying? Because right. now you need your cheese, man. You know what I'm saying? 
know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know, so. That's a hell of a story, man, Marquise. I'm definitely appreciate you reaching out to me to, to tell me the story, man. And I'm definitely sorry about what happened. You said so, they went up under multiple names. So we, we probably can't even pinpoint the LLC that, that, that we can be on the lookout for. Right, that, that, and that was the main issue, man. Uh, can't even go go at them from a legal perspective because you don't know where to go at. And it's like our Google last company we were working for, and you pull them up, they're no longer in commission. I'm like, goddamn, you know, like, and this is just what they do, you know, like, and they're gonna run under this certain MC number for a certain amount of time, and hey, after they don't pay their taxes. They don't, you know, they, you know, and they get fines and all type of other shit and don't pay. Just get another LLC, turn out another MC number, and yeah, you know, and fuck some other driver in the next, you know, four or five months. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's just what they do. You no, know, that's what they do. And I had to come into terms with it, man. Them to mess my life up because I had some major bills, man. I, you know, my, my daughter, uh, home you know with my mom because of course i'm over the road i'm a single dad you know so i'm falling out with my mom behind you know not paying her uh i drive her mercedes and paid a note on that and it was just it was a lot of shit going on man and uh i got stressing and it led to some that I, I i i can't blame on them uh but i'm now a staff driver you know uh all due to that incident, but like I said, it's not their fault. It, it was my fault. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely me. I take accountability on that. I end up coming home and you know I'm sitting, stressing about not getting paid, and I man, I, I hit the blunt a few times, and you know, uh, two three months after that, end up looking for another job, and man, got popped dirty. You know, uh, uh, but I can say as far as uh, being a sap driver, newly sap driver at that, uh. You know, my life did go downhill at the time. Uh, I got my system clean, did everything quickly, and got right back behind the truck. Some self drivers, it's hard to look for a job, but, and I'm back to making, you know, almost well over two grand a week, you know, uh, with, with a new company. And uh the company is based out of Dallas, Texas, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's hard for a lot of self drivers to transition and, and find them a new job and the reason the reason for that is probably because the accident or heart uh, the harsh of the drug you know what i'm saying in my case a lot of companies they hire you on a case-by-case -case basis you know so my experience as far as being a sap driver really ain't bad at all man it's, it's not bad at all i'm able to do the same thing i was doing when i came into the trucking game i would advise all truckers to stay away from, you know, from the marijuana. Cause every story is not like mine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm probably one of the lucky ones. And, uh, you know, like I said, it ain't, it ain't all good being, being a sap driver, but it ain't all bad neither, man. Especially if you don't smoke, I've never just really been a smoker. So, you know, it was easy for me to, you know, not do it again. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, from that one incident, man, my life kind of went downhill. And uh, like I said, man, I don't blame nobody but myself. You know what I'm saying? That was me. That was my fault. And uh, I take full accountability for that. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm back behind the wheel, man. And, yeah, man, I'm, and me and my girl, we just got a new house. Uh, man, I'm doing everything I was doing, you know, previously. So no complaints, man. All right. Congratulations, man. I, I appreciate the, the testimonial. I appreciate the reach out, man, and continue continue success, man. It's, it's unfortunate that that company put you in a in a in a tight position that that kind of pushed you to to, to yeah. hit the, to hit the weed, but. You, you got lucky, you got yourself clean, you did what you needed yeah. to do. The company that you're driving for right now, shout out to them for giving you an opportunity to get your life back together, bro. So, man, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you uh, allowing that opportunity uh, to come and speak on the platform, big dog. I appreciate that.